everybody. Welcome to Unwrapped. I'm Mark Summers, and today we're shining bright with some of the most colorful foods out there. When it comes to breakfast, one cereal combines seven colors into a single yummy bowl. We're talking about Post Fruity Pebbles. So check out what it takes to churn out over 100 boxes of this colorful cereal every minute. For many cereal lovers, the day doesn't start without a rainbow of flavor in their breakfast bowl. Fruity Pebbles is a rice-based cereal that has a, a blend of citrus flavors. And once you pour the bowl, you get a great burst of color. And once you pour the milk and takes that first bite, it's an explosion of flavor in your mouth. If you watch cartoons, you might think Fruity Pebbles surfaced sometime during the Stone Age. In fact, this crunchy, colorful creation hit the scene back in 1971. Fruity Pebbles got its name because Post wanted to launch a cereal that was based and licensed by the Flintstones, which was a popular cartoon at the time. We specifically chose Pebbles because the president of Post felt like the character Pebbles looked a lot like his daughter. Nowadays, Post serves up 55 million boxes of Fruity Pebbles every year. In fact, it's enough boxes that if you line them up, we'd go from New York to New Zealand and still have a few left over. The multicolored meal starts out as plain white rice, and lots of it. So much, in fact, it arrives at the factory in rail cars. We use almost 735 billion grains of rice every year making Fruity Pebbles. At this Post Foods plant in southern Michigan, workers unload the rice into giant cookers. Here we bring together 1,400 pounds of long grain white rice, water, a bit of salt, and our colors to begin the process of manufacturing pebbles. They turn up the heat to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and let the rice cook. 20 minutes later, the steaming rice comes out with a hot, vibrant new look. Next, it heads to a holding area for what's called tempering. After two hours, the moisture in the rice evens out. This keeps it from breaking apart in the next step. Time to bring on the steamroller. Well, not quite. This big roller does about the same thing, though. Hundreds of pounds of pressure completely flatten the rainbow rice into flakes. That's right, they actually smoosh the rice to form its pebble-like shape. But these aren't true fruity pebbles until they puff them back up. At this stage, we drive the moisture out of the flake at high temperature, blistering the surface of the flake and creating the texture that everyone loves this pebble. That crispy texture forms very quickly in the toaster, which is a blistering 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Next up, the cereal takes a spin in what looks like a big washing machine. In the coating reel, we add the flavor, vitamins, and liquid sugar. We then go through a dryer that gets us to our final texture of the Fruity Pebble product. The fruity mix sails through a scale and seals up in a bag. Would you believe workers pack up 44 million pounds of fruity pebbles every year? From a town called Bedrock to breakfast tables across America, this rainbow food continues to be a morning mainstay.